Okay. So this video is gonna be a little bit different than normal videos. I'm finally filming my DIY. Actually, let me preface this. So, I kinda started this project last week where I wanted to make these rolling trays. And so I kinda went to the, well first I looked on Etsy and then I looked on YouTube and I found a video and I started gathering supplies so that I could make Kiki, what are you doing? Okay, I guess she's gonna sit there. So that I can make these, they're called rolling trays. So if you wanna get on YouTube, get on Etsy, take a look at them. I wanted to buy one, and then when I seen that people were making them, I was like, this is perfect for me. I have the time, you can buy all these supplies at the dollar store. So that's what I did. So I actually wanted, I started this last week, and after I was like talking about it for five minutes, I started talking about drama. So the video kind of turned into a drama video. <laughs> so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and put that clip here and let go ahead and watch that. And then we'll come back and then we'll figure out and then we'll finish the DIY or start it. Well, it's done, but okay, just go watch the clip. I'll be back. Hey, what's up? So it's another day, another vlog. Car vlog, I should say. I am turning into a DIY queen. Oh yeah. Well, actually, does it matter? I don't know if it matters today. So I, um, over the weekend, I'll start it there. I was on board out of my mind like normal and I was on YouTube and this guy, oh, um, and this, oh man, let me find her name. Hold on. Dang, I watch a lot of YouTube. Um, oh wait, I added it to watch later, I think. Hold on. Trinity Savage TV popped up and she makes these like little artsy fartsy trays. And um, I think she does it on Etsy because I heard in the video she said she had a client asking for like a specific thing on their tray. So she was kind of showing how she does it. And after watching her for a little bit, I was like, oh my God, I could do this. And then the words came out of her mouth that I knew it was meant to be. Dallas though. I was like, she is speaking my language. How did she know? How did she know? So, I went to, well actually I started this project over the weekend, I should preface this. Um, on Saturday, I went and bought like some of the supplies. I only spent like, well I had to buy paint, spray paint, which was like four bucks each. And I bought a couple colors. I wanted like a white background. Um, and then I wanted something on top of the white, so yeah. Um, so this is my DIY tray video. I'm gonna try and finish it today. I don't know if I will finish it today, but you'll get the gist of it. So I might put in a couple of pictures like here and here, just to show you what I started over the weekend. Now, since this tray has to, like the paint has to dry. Wait, what was I saying? <laughs> Why does it matter that the paint has to dry? The paint's dried from this weekend. I'm gonna make two trays. I'm gonna show you the one that I started and I'm gonna pour, I'm gonna just finish it by putting epoxy on it. And then the second one I've already spray painted white and I'm still kind of thinking about what to um, put on the second tray, but I might just be basic and use the same stencil I used on the first tray. So, I did a couple things and I bought a clear coat to put on it and it didn't seal it the way I wanted it. So that's why I'm having to epoxy it. But I went to the dollar store. Yeah, I just had to buy some art supplies and like household items. Yeah, it was a dollar, so. Okay, 
Other than that, I'm trying to. Okay. So now that you watched that, that was last Wednesday, I think. So what kind of happened was I got everything at the dollar store except for like the epoxy and the paint. The spray paint I got it. Home Depot, four dollars each. The epoxy I got at Michaels. I think it was like twenty-five dollars for sixteen ounces or something. But you can buy it on Amazon. You can get it at Walmart, Target, basically any craft store. I'm sure. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. I didn't really take a lot of video of this along the way. I kind of just took pictures on my phone. So I'm gonna be referencing these pictures that I took, and then I have the finished product, of course, for you guys to see. So first, I got the cookie trays. These are just like simple dimple cookie trays from the store. Like, nothing special about them. And then I sprayed them down with the white spray paint, and then I found these stencils at the dollar store, and they're pretty cool. Let me go grab them, hold on. Okay, I'm back. We're back in the browser field. Back. back in the browser field. Back in the browser field. Oh yeah, so I guess Halloween's coming up in a few months. So the dollar store had these stencils for crafts, I guess. Or to be like painted, they're just wood. So I decided to use these on my rolling tray. And see, one's a man, he has this cool little hat, and then the girl has like her little rose. So, as you can see in the pictures, I just laid the stencil down, spray painted over it, lifted the stencil up, and then here is the first one. Isn't it cool? The epoxy is. done drying so it's fully hard and then this one's the rose one I tried to switch up the colors so I did blue on the top half and then I spray painted the bottom half with like this kind of earthy green um, I think it turned out amazing I actually like this one a little more because it has more mistakes on it. Like you can see, hold on, can you? See like when we were lifting the stencil up here, it took off some of the blue paint and then some of the paint came off here and around the edges. Um, it's not showing up very well on camera, but that's okay. And then when it was drying, um, somebody's thumbprint, <laughs> but that just adds character. That's why I like this one more is because it has like mistakes on it and like, I don't know. I just think the mistakes give it character, so it just makes it more mine because it's not perfect. I had an art teacher in high school who told me that she would build stuff around her house without like measuring. Specifically, she was talking about like her fence in front of her house. And she said that life isn't perfect, so that's why she didn't measure her fence. And I think she did say it actually ended up crooked, but that it didn't matter because it gave it character. So this one's a little too perfect, but not really. Cause like if you get close, but not too close, you can kind of see this is off. The mouth looks a little funky. I think the blue dropped on the mustache, or this part, and then I like spray painted green over it. I don't know if you can kind of see it. But more character. These ones I'm proud of. 
Oh yeah, also, before I epoxied these, I clear coated them. And then this is just like general white paint. It's empty as you can hear. But the other thing that you can do if you don't want to use stencils, and like I could reuse these. They're just dope. Okay, so on Etsy, you can like customize these any way you want. Oh yeah, so let me tell you a little story time in the middle here. So I got these. in these, right? And I spray painted them. And I was like, oh, this is awesome. I need to make more. So I went back to the dollar store like two more times because I couldn't decide on how many I wanted to make. But on Etsy, you can find just like any different design. And then I'll link the video down there that I kind of followed. She did them with one of those, I think they're called crickets, or they're like the artsy fartsy cutout things that you can get. I think they're like $100 or something, but I don't have all that fancy stuff. I just have like a black and white laser printer. So on her video, if you go and watch it, she went and like printed out her things and then she laminated them and then she poured the epoxy over. But this is a sticker. So that one turned out pretty cool. And then you can't see it very well on this, but like the edges are translucent. If I wouldn't have laminated this, I think just the black would have showed up and it would have come out, turned out a lot better. And that happened with all of these. If I wouldn't have laminated it, they would have all just gone translucent. This one turned out pretty cool. I just like the picture. That felt like story time in elementary school. Cause like in the corner it's translucent but the little black heart kind of showed through. I don't know if it's showing up. But yeah, I thought it was super fun. I guess this wasn't really a tutorial. I kind of just like told you what I did and stuff but that's okay some tips if you're gonna try this is go watch that video uh oh I hear thunder I don't know how to make it not bubble some of my epoxy bubbled after I stirred it together and I don't know if you can see it kind of so I would definitely like research how to do that better if I was gonna do this again it's just so smooth and it, I just like it. I think it's cool. That's my art project today. So if you found any value, feel free to like, comment, subscribe. And don't forget to appreciate one of the little moments of your day. That way when you're old and you look back, you don't think that you didn't appreciate the little moments. And I'll see you all on the next one. Bye.